This was described as a full on search. 30 to 40 members of law enforcement did head to James Worley's farm. They searched every single portion of that property, barns and homes, and they did discover several pieces of items that they did collect as evidence at that time, thinking that that could prove James Worley's guilt. Jurors viewed items found inside one of Worley's barns, specifically those that were kept inside a green bin. Investigators testified Worley became upset when agents found the bin and viewed the bondage items inside, along with adult diapers, white tube socks, and a lacy tube top, all items similar to what Sierra Joggin was wearing when investigators found her body. Jurors also learned a large deep freeze freezer found underneath the floorboards of the barn was also searched and tested for DNA. We were actually lined the carpet and I actually took the swabs from inside the carpet area. Do you recall what the entire, do you remember smelling anything when you were taking those swabs? It, it was a foul odor, odor uh, almost like a, like a heat comp kind of smell to it. Okay. Did you, did you notice any smell of bleach? Um, not that I recall. The same investigators collecting evidence on Worley's farm were the same team to assist in removing Sierra's body from a shallow grave in a cornfield. Dave Hammond with BCI explained the measures taken to preserve all evidence. As we started with um, um, like spoons um, and like garden trials, basically just taking off one layer of the dirt at a time to work down so that way we could recover all of the evidence that was there in the hole with her um, and at portions we were actually using our gloved hands to to scrape dirt because that was the late the least invasive and destructive method that we could use to recover her also to take the witness stand today a longtime friend of james worley who testified to hanging out with worley at his home and barns he explained that Worley was with his elderly mother and the main caretaker for her and also watched out for his brother on the farm. The friend told the jury that he, along with Worley, would smoke marijuana together and watch porn and was questioned about Worley's interest in starting a porn studio in one of the barns. Now, sir, when you stated that Mr. Worley wanted to get involved in producing pornography, he didn't say he wanted to star in it. And still today, even on day three of testimony, still a strong presence of Sierra Joggins family, her mother in the front row of that courtroom. Many members of her family is seen wearing purple, which we have heard was Sierra's favorite color. Reporting from the Fulton County Courthouse, Michelle Zapata, WTOL 11.